let's now look at a voltage source we're all familiar with. The first thing to remember is the ground normally has zero volts. Let's look at some clouds in the sky. When the conditions are right, the water droplets in the cloud rub together creating static electricity, and the cloud voltage potential increases. This creates a potential voltage difference between the ground voltage, which is zero, and the cloud. When the potential difference is high enough to break down the air in between, a lightning strike will occur. As the cloud is the source of the electricity, we class it as the live element. The air is the conductor that the electricity passes through. Electricity is a form of energy that occurs due to the existence of charged particles, either electrons or protons. Let's look at a conductor. Inside the conductor we have lots of atoms, either copper or aluminium atom. If we now apply voltage across the conductor, the electrons will flow from one atom to the next. This flow is called current. The flow will continue as long as the voltage potential difference is there. To use electricity we need these basic elements. A voltage source, either AC or DC. A live or positive conductor to take the electricity to its destination. This could be made of copper or aluminium. A load to use the energy of the electricity. This could be a washing machine or a hairdryer. A neutral or negative conductor to take the electricity back to its source. When a full circuit is created, current flows. 